It's Thursday, May 2nd. It is the night before relay. It's 4.30. I'm headed to First Baptist. I have all the shirts, all the participant shirts for relay. It's bank night. We are ready. We're excited. Just fried enough pies to like feed all of the county. That's cool. I look like a jerk driving with my phone up here. Um, but yeah. So about to go and meet up with everybody, distribute these shirts, and then see what else the night brings. I have no idea what we're gonna do the rest of the night, so. I still have to decorate our bra and do a couple little things. But yeah, we are ready for relay. It is Friday, May 3rd. It is 3.48. I am running a couple of errands before getting to the fairgrounds to get ready for relay. So far, we have sunshine, no rain, thankfully. And yeah. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome day. There's a fishing tournament in town, so things are a little crazy. There's like people everywhere and like a fishing boat just went by, Cabela's bass boat. And there's like 18 wheelers and everything, but ready, 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 ready to relay. Ready for an awesome night, can't wait, so. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey Rebecca. Hey. <laughs> Hi Rebecca. Hey, she just stepped on my Aren't foot. you excited to relay? What are we fixing to do? We're about to have the opening ceremony, we're about which to, is going to be awesome. Yes, we're about to go up on stage and be awesome. Mm -hmm. We're excited. Um, we got balloons going on over here. Everything's going on. Who's excited? I'm excited. Are you hot? I hard? know several are excited for tonight. I know. So several. let's head that way. We're going to head that way. And in May, I participated in my very first Relay for Life. 25 years later, I wouldn't be anywhere other than right here with you tonight at Our Home Relay. Woo! So I started in 1995 at Heritage Park because it was the right thing to do. And I relayed for many years because it was the right thing to do. Then came March of 2002. In fact, the Ides of March, March 15th, when the doctor looked at my wife and I and said, Mr. Cornelius, you have cancer. We were in a bulletproof time of life. I was just before my 40th birthday, 16 years into a great marriage, seven year old daughter. My wife, mine and my wife's careers are going, going great. On top of that, we had opened a small boutique in Coleman because that's what we wanted to do. Everything was, we were just in the throes of life and enjoying it. I let Kevlar fell to the ground when on March the 15th we heard those three words, you have cancer. By March the 18th, we knew we had stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. And by March the 28th, I was sitting in a chemo chair. Two days after my 40th birthday. That was right after the emotion put me in the bathroom floor in the chemo, in, in the clinic. It just said overwhelming of where I was. Fast forward then to May 2002. At the time, it was the second Friday in May. That night will always hold a special meaning to me because that night, relay became real to me. I wasn't just doing it anymore because it was the right thing to do. I was doing it because I too was in a fight for my life. It's gonna make me cry. Um, <laughs> Part of the team that surrounded me and engulfed me and pulled my wife, my daughter, now off that, off of that track, is also in this fight now. But that night, relay became real to me. And you know, I look back on it now, and I realize there was something else that happened with my cancer diagnosis. I wouldn't have told you this at the time. But I stand here tonight and tell you that cancer saved the rest of my life. I don't mean years, how long I live, or anything like that. I mean the rest of my life. I mean the dash in between. Cancer gave me a mission. I realized that I wasn't where I was to put it on a shelf. That I had a responsibility, almost an obligation, to get in this fight in every way that I could. How can we use our stories and our experiences to help those coming behind us.
Denise Harden, 20 years survivor of breast cancer and th thyroid cancer. My name is Ruth Rose. I have glioblastoma, which is brain cancer. I've been a survivor for almost eight years, and I lost a son to lymphoblastic lymphoma. He died in 2006. He was 28 years old and my baby. But I thank everyone for supporting me, and I love all my family and my friends, and God has been so good to me. I'm Shirley Fraley. I'm a breast cancer survivor for 21 years. And I'm the husband. I'm Paul Fraley. I'm a bladder cancer survivor for 27 years. I've been battling skin cancer for 11 years and living with leukemia for eight years. God is good. I'm Barbara Roberts. I had breast cancer and I'm a nine year survivor. He's honking at me. <laughs> Thank you, Stringer and I. I uh, got uh, had bladder and prostate cancer and been a survivor six years. Rhonda Goodwin, 25 years breast cancer, two years bladder cancer. Thank you. I'm Janice Kaysen. I'm a survivor of colon cancer for 21 years. Robert Motter, bladder cancer, two years. And he's the one that made me cry. <laughs> Gary Cornelius, Hodgkin's lymphoma, 17 year survivor. Should we get a balloon? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. I did. It's right here. Are you excited? There is a black Mustang. Like she said, we're Team Wallace State, and since this year's theme was Bringing Home a Cure, we had Iron Bowl, which was Teams United for a Cure. So whether you scream Roll Tide or War Eagle, we can all stand united for a cure. Can I get a roll tide? Summer, 
of 2016, I kept feeling it being larger and harder. And I listened to my instincts and finally went back to my doctor. And had another mammogram and ultrasound and my tests came back positive for stage 2B in ductal carcinoma breast cancer with lymph involvement. It was a very scary time for me. I know so many of you here come from families that so many of your family members have suffered this horrible diagnosis. I had never been in or around people who had been diagnosed with cancer. I had friends that had cancer, even had friends that had passed away that had cancer, but they weren't people that I was with on a daily basis, so I didn't know a lot about it. It was a very daunting diagnosis for me. It was very scary. Um, it was, the timing of it, I thought, could not have been worse because I was at the most, the most happy Thank you. 